Record menu. Uh, they did change this. Start recording. Hide paths. What's this? Save. Uh, start recording. How do I get... How does this... There. F. We're recording. Close the loop, it says. Okay, we're going to come over here, go to the other side. I'll be making roads for this in the future. Don't care about that right now. Look what it's doing. It's putting down these uh, waypoints. Let's see if we can close the loop. And what does that mean? I got to go to the next point, I guess. Done? I think I gotta hit the uh, little check mark thing. And then do something. Oh, here it is right here. Is it gonna be automatic? Recording completed. Done. 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 So it, it should have ended already. Uh, it should have ended already. I shouldn't have to do anything. Uh, yeah, it's already, it, it ended it. So it, it already did it. So I should be able to just drive around now and nothing happens. Okay? Nothing happens. Uh, what is that, pause? <laughs> oh, that's a pause because it's going to stop there. Okay, so we have a recording. Now, uh, th that wasn't bad. Let's, let's just go around and take a look without falling off the edge. I got to put walls over there, guys. And I'm sure this stuff works better on a flat, on flat surface. Uh, lo oh, got to load path the vehicle. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. So, so, uh, I could be anywhere. Uh, I don't even need to be here. I don't even need to be here. I could be anywhere. Uh, just get in your truck and then do V. Uh, where is it? Oh, good. You can delete the path. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe I need to be on top of it. Or do I need to be at the starting location? Or... I gotta see how I load the path. Uh, recording path was done by me. Saving path and completing it was done by the game. It was done by the game. Oh, what? Whoa! R is save path. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, test path one, save. Vehicles over here, whoop, nothing's inside, we have fuel, uh, and we've already moved more, we got 55 over there, we got nothing here. Let's move something in here. That's not a burl nut. Let's throw some copper sheets in here. And uh, we've saved the path. Now, when I get in the truck, I should be able to load the path and it just, things are gonna, let's see what happens. Isn't it better to do this stuff on a platform than, um, you know, you know what I mean? I'm sure you guys have played this game a lot. You, you create this kind of thing. You create a platform to test stuff out with. Pro approach the pause sign and edit the time the truck is pa pausing. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, you can edit each one of these nodes to some degree, correct? Uh, how and why? I don't know. You, know, like, you, you can edit just... You can edit like... Um, can I edit these things too? Okay, the, this is just about deleting nodes. 
Now, uh, maybe you got like double here and you want to get rid of one, I guess. The vehicle apparently is going to auto path between this location and this location, I guess. I don't know if it's auto path or if it's already predetermined. Let's check this pause symbol. Okay, wait time. Uh, what would wait time imply? Wait time before leaving? Uh, but, um... In order to prevent collisions? Uh, wait time... Uh, wait, I mean, it's, let's say there's a whole bunch of stuff to load. It's gonna load, then wait? I'm not sure exactly what wait time means. Wait time before leaving, once it's loaded? Or, or, uh, it's gonna wait nine seconds, and if it's not finished loading, uh, it's gonna go. It's gonna go no matter what. Not sure. I think trains have a, some, some kind of similar thing here. Uh, load the truck. The wait time is, is it will stand still to load and unload, right? So wait time is, is like, look, I want to make sure to get every, as much as possible during that time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, I may increase the wait time, uh, in order to, f if it's not filling the truck, if I got tons of stuff. So that's actually huge information. Okay. I recorded the path. It automatically stopped it when I hit the finish line. It created a finish line right over here. I did a full loop, picking up goods here, driving, delivering goods manually, manually by pressing F, leaving, coming back over here and to the finish line, to the finish line. Now, I want to go look at this real quick on the wait time on this. I want to see if they're standard. So, the the load wait time is 9 seconds. Seven point five seconds. So, I wonder if it uh, calculated this based on my actual time that I was standing there. That I was, like, here in the recording. very possible so when I do this in reality uh, when I record the path maybe I'll stay there for a while but I can't monitor the stuff that's being loaded so I'm not sure about that but like you said I'll just go and adjust it as needed uh, in the future editing the node okay now I'm gonna get into the vehicle and I'm going to we have fuel I'm going to load path, load path. Uh, this is the only one I have. So it's using four per trip, one vehicle, distance seven, whatever, miles, meters, oh, path length. So, so uh, before I do this, uh, I want my truck to be like kind of far away. I want to see if it takes this truck and throws it over here. What's it going to do? Is it going to drive the truck? Or do I need to drive it myself? Let's see what happens. Let me do a load path. Load path. Pick this one. Load path. And... And... Uh, autopilot to say, do I need to exit the vehicle? No. I loaded the path. I loaded the path. I loaded the path. Uh, then you could show hide path. Okay, that's good. Change going to talk. When, how do I start this? Do I got to drive over there? Those are meters. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Show, hide, load. I, I loaded the path into this truck. And uh, it's got a check mark. Uh, it's showing, oh, it's showing the loop here too. Look at the map. Docking station, docking station. Uh, good, you can delete the path. That should remove everything. That should remove everything. Now, uh, loading the path doesn't instigate your truck going on the thing. That we know. It's uh, we All we've done is load the path. So uh, now I need to make it go. Uh, how do I turn... How do I do... 
Uh, re oh, enable. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the record menu and enable autopilot. Brrr. Let's see what happens. Okay, and I'll press Q again to do this. And uh, I'm going to assume I leave the vehicle for this to start. It's going to pick up, uh, it should pick up copper sheets and deliver them over there. Why are you going there? Shouldn't he go where he's starting? Uh, you know what? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe he's going to go where the closest indicator is. He's going to go where the closest indicator is, which is perfectly fine. So I'll just make sure to instigate it uh, when I'm over here. You know, it doesn't really matter in, in the grand scheme of things because it's going to do what it needs to do anyway. But just to be pure, in the future, I'll uh, turn it on when I'm close to this guy. You can be anywhere. It'll just come over to the closest thing here and then pick up. So let's see if it delivers copper sheets. So it should stay there nine seconds. The other thing that I need to make sure of is I can delete the entire thing and make it look like it never happened. Like it never happened. It looks like they got in the menu right there where you can delete the path. That's That makes it like it where it never happened. I think this isn't so bad if uh, and I, I I I don't need this for long distances. I do not need this for long distances. Unload. I'll, I'll of course name the rename the docking stations. Okay. And back out. Now I'm going to assume this guy's just going to keep looping, even if there's no inventory to pick up. I don't know if he's going to wait over here. For something. I think train maybe trains wait if they're full or if there's nothing to pick up. I don't know. Let's see if this guy if this guy waits or not. There's nothing in here to pick up. Let's see if he's fuel efficient or not. Boy, it is recording. It's doing exactly what I recorded. Uh it looks like it's just gonna keep going. Even though there was nothing to pick up. Nine seconds, go. Okay, so it's going to just keep looping. So uh, I'm definitely going to need a reliable fuel source for this. I mean, either, either, I mean, I need it anyway. Uh, I like that it continues to move because uh, the other thing is, visually, I want it to look like a busy city. You know what I mean? So it's good that it's moving. And there's the copper sheets. So good on all fronts. Good on all fronts. So I'm going to take all this out and throw it over to the other side. Just to do one final test of moving this stuff. Uh, when I build uh, roads from warehouses to train stations, I'm going to try to make them as wide and flat as possible for easy and easy turns. Like, wide and flat as possible. Something like that. The next experiment is going to be making another truck. And load the path. Someone gave a... Someone... Someone gave a very important bit of information here. Once you've got your good path recorded, it's there. Load it into another vehicle. But I think someone said it has to be the same vehicle type, which is fine, which is fine. That makes sense. So we're going to create another truck and load the path, another tractor. Hey now. Hey now. Guys, this is turning out to be uh, better than what I thought. 
Enable auto. Yeah, let's see. We got that. I, and I got to do this again just to remember. Uh, this is go like doing this in the lab on a flat surface uh, is like the way to go. This is this is going better than I thought it would. So the next thing to do is to create another vehicle and uh, uh, I got to get fuel into I'm not going to put fuel in the vehicle. I'm going to put fuel over here. Actually, put put fuel um well, I got to put fuel in the vehicle for it to go, for it to get started. So this time I'm going to make it I'm going to make it over here. Make one over here. And uh Okay, I need five beacons. Uh, I probably should end up putting some stations here anyway. Let's see if I can make them. Uh, this is definitely going better than what I thought. And I think, uh, again, uh, I call it streamer advantage. Uh, without having you guys here, I'd have to go watch a freaking video. And nothing against people that make videos, but uh, I'd rather just do it this way. You know what I mean? Like, uh, hey, uh, blah, 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 and then someone says, oh, blah, 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 and it's like, okay, we're done. I don't have to watch a bunch of videos. <clears throat> Uh, beacon, uh, what beacons? Five. Now, I think when I, in the future, when I make more vehicles, I am going to stay close to where a, a node is. I want to get closer to the side. Okay, he's up, and uh, I'll get some fuel in. Uh, these trucks are eventually going to run out of fuel, obviously. Okay, that's done, and... Now, I, th I think with collisions, I think the game handles it okay. Uh, based on, like, I was watching Cry last night. The, the trucks were hitting each other, and they still, they find a way to get back on track. So, load path. Load path. And record menu. Enable autopilot. And get out. Found the closest node and uh, rock and roll. I got two vehicles now using the same recording. That is so big. That is so big. Uh, you don't, guys, you don't know how big that is. <laughs> uh, because then I can just add new, uh, more vehicles as needed. If I, if I get a nice recording going, uh, then, then we're golden. You know what I mean? We're golden. Uh, I like the I like the loop structure, so I'm thinking to provide for a loop structure. Uh, I'll probably feed underneath uh, the goodies coming in. I'll probably feed them underneath uh, through a through a portal, through a porthole here. You know what I mean? This kind of thing coming from underneath, and then I'll, I like the loop structure, looping. Uh, not turning around here. So I want to create a loop from the factories to these. Now, I don't, and I don't know how many of these I need to make. Uh, no, I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, I think it's it's probably you're looking at... Uh, I don't think you... I don't know. I don't know. Can I... 
can I have more than one? I, I, uh, not that I need this. But that's a that's a nice inventory. I think I could put up two truck stations on the load side and uh, record a path where he's picking up from two places. The, of course, the problem is that's not going to work. Uh, no. That could work. Because if I have multiple trucks, they'll just keep picking up what they can. So I could, I think I could run um, uh, like two low tr truck stops and have like five, ten trucks, let's say. And they'll just keep coming through trying to pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, and then they'll, they'll go. So I think that is a possibility of something to do. I don't know if it's worth doing it. I think the trucks are just going to go and do what you record. They're going to pick up and pick up and pick up and pick up. And uh, they're going to unload and unload and unload. It just depends on your recording. It's brilliant that you can... That this thing about being able to... Uh, keep your path separate from your vehicle and then load it later. So in the lab, everything is looking pretty good in the lab. I think I definitely want loops. I want loops. So we're going to loop around. We're not going to turn around in place. We'll be looping around the back. It's easier for me. And uh, we'll bring supply in from underground and supply out underground to keep things clean and battery supply from underground too. So we will be elevating this to the point where we could uh, sandwich underneath. In, out, and batteries. Same with the other side. Dude, this is like, I can't believe this is actually happening. This is actually happening. So, uh... Now, if they run out of batteries, I, I got to put batteries, I think, in the trucks, not in the stations, because, oh, maybe they stop at the stations when they run out of, I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what happens when they run out of fuel. Maybe they stop right on the path. Uh, I'll let these guys run until they run out of fuel, I guess. Now, I think Cry was saying last night that, uh... You can't get in the truck and uh, autopilot like you can in trains, I believe. So once you get in the truck, uh, autopilot's turned off. So you can't go for a joyride and observe and all and use it as a uh, like you know. So what this is doing is this is motivating me now. I'm looking forward to creating my first factory. And uh, I will, I will, you know, my first factory. Like I, I, I actually haven't even created a factory yet. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pop. I'm just trying to pop off uh, phases and stuff. Just ad hoc creation of things. I have not officially even started any kind of factory yet. I will, I will try to make flat roads. We're gonna, we're gonna make it to where we're gonna loop. Definitely loop around the back. Feed from underground and having a nice looping system. So I'm gonna, I'm either gonna make a uh, a very wide road or a double lane, a double lane with gaps in the middle. And like I said, this is not, this ain't gonna be long distance. Uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna keep train stations like available to be pretty close from the factory. So a lot of them might be around this distance. Factory, truck station, road, you know, road, train station, and then tracks for the trains out here. Or if I make flat enough road, I could go longer distance. It's just a function of fuel then. And not being a complete derpmeister on the, uh, the recording. Now the big thing, I want to make sure that I can delete the whole uh, the whole shebang and start over. Which it looks like to me you can. You just delete the path and it should remove everything. It should remove all of these things should not exist anymore. If I delete that path, this p 
puppy better go away. And I'm going to assume it is. Now, this guy, like, why did he turn blue? He kind of had a little fit. Do you run out of fuel? He's got six left. D does that mean he's out of fuel? I don't know. The other truck, he stopped too. He's out of fuel. And uh, maybe, like, so he's out of fuel. This guy's kind of out of fuel. What happens if I do this? Is he gonna... Is he gonna... Is he stopping because this guy stopped? I wonder if one truck runs out of fuel, they all stop. They all stop. Let's get some fuel into the other guy, make an observation. This guy ran out of fuel, and I think it caused him to stop. Eh. Whoa! Guys, I am stuck. I am stuck inside. I, you know what? I thought I died. This guy has no fuel. This guy came forward. So he's waiting. He's waiting. Uh, let's get fuel into this guy and see what happens. Is autopilot on? It is. Now let's see what this guy does. Yep. 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 Nice. Nice. Look at this, guys. It's a convoy. I'm going to build like 30 freaking trucks. It's a convoy, boys. Let's see. Don't bump into him, dude. <laughs> they're waiting. Uh, they, they're waiting. He has got, got the collision detection going. So when one is here, the other one's not going to come in there. So uh, I just get, I need to keep the return, the, 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 the loop separate. A nice wide loop. So I'll build a separate, two separate roads or something like that. We got us a convoy. Boys. <laughs> uh, there's, let's show us how far each fuel type will give. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to be going batteries eventually, which is going to be the best. Uh, it's going to be, that's, I'm going to have a huge battery production. Uh, using the alternate recipe, eventually. Okay, so trucks are um, trucks are looking pretty clean. Uh, you just need to. Uh, I think there's some precautions when doing trucks. <clears throat> I'm going to keep them very separate, and I'm going to loop around the back of the buildings. I'm going to loop, and I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to loop. And then I'm going to feed everything from underneath to keep it clean. So these guys will keep going until they run out of fuel. Uh, I don't know why this guy does this thing, but whatever. As long as I keep moving. So uh, uh, I could do another truck. And uh, if I, like, I can go three trucks. Depending upon the need. And they're not going to collide with each other. It's just a function of fuel. And I'm sure all I need to do is... Uh, I'll just need fuel at one uh, station. So I'll have a drone deliver fuel to a drone port underneath and then just pump few batteries into one truck station. And these two truck stations are going to be just used for this. Nothing else. Nothing fancy. Uh, it's going to be moving from factory... Goods from a factory to a train station. That's That's it. Very simple. This guy might just move screws. I don't know. I don't know. They might just have a convoy of trucks moving screws from a factory to a train station. I'm trying to go with a low conveyor build. Low, low to no conveyors. And I want to utilize the entire map as much as possible to do things. I want to keep the trains within the biome. 
and go drones to deliver items long distance so that I don't have to do a lot of train track running. The auto pathing of the drones I do love. So I think I'm going to try to keep trains, train tracks within the biome. They'll be delivering stuff to the airport. When I get to trains, I will set, I'll, I'll probably have to make this platform bigger and uh, put down some train stations. And um, I'll run two trains and I don't know, we'll see what happens. If I'm going to be running, if I'm going to be using the same track for a lot of trains, I assume that I'm just going to have to put a lot of block signals in to prevent collisions. And I don't know if those block signals need to be at every block or not. Uh, I need to, when the time comes, you know, I'll explore all that. Even before worrying about how pass signals work and stuff like that. But we're going to have to do it here in the lab. Doing this truck stuff here in the lab was just like, it just makes things so much easier to experiment with. I love this. I love it. Nice big wide loop around the backs. And then I should be able to get into this truck and delete the path and everything should go away. And the truck should just be like, well, I don't know what to do. There's no more path. In case I screw up, I should be able to delete the whole thing. Actually, uh, yeah. What if you never save it? Anyway, I'll worry, I'll worry about that later. I just want to make sure when I delete the path, all these blue things go away and everything resets. To work on the path, to work on it, I guess I would have to get inside of a truck. So what happens if I delete the path while I'm inside the truck? This dude's moving. So, uh, let's see, we've got record menu, we got save path, load path. Uh, so if I press V and delete this path, what's going to happen? Let's let him drive a little bit, then I'm going to delete this path. Whoa. Why was he moving forward? He was no longer on the grid. Is it because I brought up the load path screen and so it kind of resets? All I did was bring up this, he's off the grid now. Or is it, be, oh no, when you get in the vehicle, uh, he doesn't know what to, you can't drive along. Let's get out of the vehicle, see if he picks up. Yeah, when you get in the vehicle, uh, oh, now they're reversed. Now the trucks are reversed. What's going to happen now? Uh, when you get in the vehicle, uh, he's he's does he's not going to do anything. He's not going to he's done. I mean, he's not going to he's not going to go onto the path. So you've basically disabled him. Which which what I would assume because that's what Cry was talking about last night. So, see, now he's like, he doesn't know what to do. So now it's it's basically autopilot. Is, it's enabled, but it's turned off when you're in the vehicle. It's, okay. I almost went over the edge. <laughs> Load path. Let's delete the whole kit and caboodle and see what happens. Gone. How come the blue things are still there? I deleted the path. Why is everyone still doing things? You, unless they're finishing up their loop 
and then they're gonna stop. Let's see what happens. Maybe they're finishing up their loop. Uh, before I get in the truck, let's see what they do. I deleted the path. It says I'll have to re-record it. Let me get back in the truck and see what's going on. Did I, do I need to do a save? Oh. Don't run out of fuel. I need to test. Okay. Let's try this again. Load path. There ain't no path here. There ain't no path. Oh, the path is deleted, but it's not... The path is deleted from future use. But this guy still has a path ingrained inside of him, maybe. You know what I mean? Or I gotta disable autopilot? I don't know. Hide path nodes. Okay, disable autopilot. He's still... He's still... I've deleted the path, but it's still it's still ingrained inside this vehicle. It's still ingrained. I mean, I, I guess I you hide these, and um, you just re-record. So you can delete the path. But but you can delete, hey now hey now you can delete the path, but but that doesn't your trucks are still ingrained with the stuff, until you record like a new path or you turn off this thing. Yep. So the only other way would be uh, so okay it's disabled. Uh, he's got he's got his path. I think the yeah. I think the clean way to do this would be to delete the vehicle. Delete the vehicle. Yeah. See, cry. That's I. We you know we hit it right at the same time. Uh, the only way to completely reset would be to uh, delete the vehicle. Does that cause the checkpoints to go away without me having to hide them? Let's find out. So we're going to delete this vehicle. And then we're going to delete this one. Uh, I don't want to have to go in and uh, edit all these things. So this guy is... Uh, in hey, back, 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 back. Don't go over the side. I want these to go away. I want these to go away without me having to go in individually and <laughs> look. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to hide those things, but maybe I have to. So, uh, what do I want to do here? Do uh, I want to make it like this never happened? Okay. Now, I wonder if I should hide paths and then delete the truck. Or if I delete the truck, will it hide the paths? You know what I mean? Because the, the path is not... The path I can't load again. It's deleted. Uh, no, login. Probably not. Sometimes those things drag on and it's not worth, like, me sitting here, like, you know, staring at it. There's nothing, you know what? There's nothing really I'm excited about in terms of new games. I'll probably have this the thing running. Uh, and let's just, so that's tomorrow. Next week is a bunch of stuff's going on next week. A whole bunch of stuff's going on next week. This gaming world is going to be busy next week. Uh, June is big because they're, uh, because school is getting out. So the question now is, let's disable autopilot. Um, 
I my quest so I need to decide like if I delete this truck is it going to hide the notes or do I should I hide the notes first before deleting the truck I want to make it look like nothing ever happened I don't want those freaking things sitting here for the next three years those no those blue those blue things I probably would to play it safe would be do this then delete the truck I can't load the path again after I delete this truck, that path is gone. I think the thing to do would be hide path nodes and then delete the truck. We don't want these things here. But I'm just curious. I'm just curious what'll happen if I delete this truck without hiding these nodes. Are they still going to be there? If they're there, I'll have to individually go in and delete them. So I have to find out. I have to find out. So we, I'm going to delete this truck. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's working exactly like what I'd expect. The nodes are gone. So it's like it never happened. Delete the path. Delete the vehicles. And... It's like it never happened. Like it never happened. Perfect. Perfect.